Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but loss, and poor contempt on all my pride. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my God. The vain delights that charm me most, I sacrifice them to his blood. See from his head, his hands, his feet, what grief and love flow mingling down. Did e'er such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose such rich a crown? Or all the realm of nature mine, that were a present far too small? Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. Death, you shall die in me. Hell, you shall be destroyed by me. I trusted, even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Death, you shall die in me. Hell, you shall be destroyed by me. As Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like the dead, long forgotten. Therefore, my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, for my enemies, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will. For you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. As Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Destroy this temple, says the Lord, and in three days I will rebuild it. He was speaking of the temple of his body. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in, born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, 
death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Destroy this temple, says the Lord, and in three days I will rebuild it. He was speaking of the temple of his body. A reading from 1 Peter chapter 1. Realize that you were delivered from the futile way of life your fathers handed on to you, not by any diminishable sum of silver or gold, but by Christ's blood beyond all price. The blood of a spotless, unblemished lamb chosen before the world's foundation and revealed for your sake in these last days. It is through him that you are believers in God, the God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory. Your faith and hope, then, are centered in God. For our sake, Christ was obedient, accepting even death, death on a cross. Therefore God raised him on high and gave him the name above all other names. For our sake Christ was obedient, accepting even death, death on a cross. Therefore God raised him on high and gave him the name above all other names. Now the Son of Man has been glorified and God has been glorified in him. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. For our sake, our Redeemer suffered death and was buried and rose again. With heartfelt love, let us adore him and pray, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, when your side was pierced, there flowed out blood and water, the marvelous symbol of the whole church. Through your death, burial, and resurrection, bring life to your bride, the church. Lord Jesus, you remembered those who did not remember your promise of resurrection. Remember those without hope who do not know that you have risen. Lamb of God, you were offered for all as a paschal sacrifice. Draw all mankind to yourself. God of all the world, you encompassed the universe, but were pleased to be laid in the tomb. Free the human race from the powers of darkness and grant it the gift of immortal glory. Christ, Son of the living God, you opened the gates of paradise to the repentant thief. Gather all who have shared your death and burial into the glory of your resurrection. Now let us pray as the Lord has taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful and ever-loving God, your only Son went down among the dead and rose again in glory. In your goodness, raise up your faithful people buried with him in baptism, to be one with him in the eternal life of heaven, 
where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.